thanks for everything that we've done together this year for the Blue Zones Project. We have an amazing community that is the healthiest and happiest, and it's due to everyone this past year and the past couple years volunteering, coming together, changing what we do. Uh, I'm very optimistic about the future. Over a third of the community knows about the Blue Zones Project. A significant number of people have had their lives changed already and think that other people have had their lives changed. So we're just at the beginning and it's been a, a great adventure. Thanks for everything you've done and continue to do. On behalf of the Blue Zones Project Southwest Florida, I'd like to echo Dr. Weiss's comments of appreciation to each and every one of you. Thank you for being a part of this amazing project. Together, we are moving well-being in a meaningful way. As you know, Blue Zones Project is a comprehensive approach to improving well-being. We have work sites, homeowners associations, faith-based organizations, schools, grocery stores, restaurants, as well as policy leaders. Together, we work to make a difference in well-being in Southwest Florida. So what we'd like to do is share with you a little bit about the progress that has been made in the past year in each of these sectors. As you know, making progress in areas of policy, specifically food, tobacco, and built environment, is especially impactful in improving well-being. Over the past year, the policy committees have worked with the community partners to restore the Golden Gate Community Center garden, pass a Blue Zones resolution in Bonita Springs, create and place suggestive no smoking and no tobacco signage at playgrounds and ball fields within Collier County Parks, coordinate a healthy food drive and a sterile at Tidewater by Del Webb, one of our Blue Zones recognized homeowners associations. So being the first Blue Zones recognized homeowners association in a sterile, we've really received a lot of recognition from outside of the community. The mayor came to our ribbon cutting, um, the different HOAs in the area have reached out to us and potential buyers who walk through the sales center are asking questions about what the Blue Zones project is. We completed our beautiful roundabout project on Central Avenue. We had over 450 walkers who participated in National Walking Day and we were able to highlight this important project. Well this Central Avenue project actually integrates multimodal capabilities where there were none before. Um, before, the roadway was simply uh, accommodating to uh, cars and trucks. Um, and what we wanted to do to spur that redevelopment in the community redevelopment area was to entice pedestrians and bicyclists to come and use the roadway, but provide a safe opportunity for them to do that. And we held a workshop with national expert Dan Burden in Immokalee and Ave Maria to discuss ways to improve the built environment. You know, what Blue Zones has given to us, but we're also trying to, uh, you know, to give back as well. For instance, I'm on the Built Environment Committee. So moving naturally, it's hard to move naturally if your environment doesn't allow you to move naturally. And what I mean is that if you don't have sidewalks or a path or a, a bike lane on your, your roads, then you're going to tend to favor getting in the car versus, versus moving naturally. Engaging individuals in the project is critical, personal well-being as well as empowering champions, especially when people want to contribute their talent and passion to the project. And an additional 533 people participated in our purpose workshops. More than 650 community members volunteered with Blue Zones Project. And according to Gallup Share Care Well-Being Survey, one out of every three people in Southwest Florida know about the project and 44% are aware of it in the seven zip codes we call Naples. Homeowners associations are seeing great value in coming on board the Blue Zones project. Yeah, we have a, um, our lifelong learning program and um, last year trying to reach our goal we offer Blue Zone inspired classes. We want to offer our residents more um, healthy living classes, plant-based food classes, mm -hmm. get them moving naturally. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of the classes that we are starting to plan right now will be Blue Zone inspired. So it was a natural fit for our residents to um, join Blue Zone Pledge for Blue Zones project and um, more and more MOAIs were created throughout um, rolling out the project to them and they're very proud of living in a community that is now Blue Zones um, certified or recognized. 
members embrace volunteering, attending purpose workshops, and forming walking and potluck moais. Moais are when people come together for a purpose and to socialize. We have had 12 of the largest HOAs participating and another 14 who are working on recognition. They gave us a lot of different ideas um, that we may be interested in joining certain groups and the walking and the potluck moais were one that I thought that I would enjoy getting involved with so I signed up for that right away. It has really brought us closer together. It's made us more, you know, we feel like a family already because we spend a lot of time here at work. And um, so it just made us all closer. Well, we're fortunate here because it's a small family environment. Though the, the office is somewhat big, we have a group of nurses that are fairly consistent from cardiology. We have our own lab. Um, we have an endocrinologist and also family practice. So everybody kind of knows each other because it's a smaller environment. But as, we, as I took on a leadership role and kind of explained what we're trying to do and what the MOAI was about, uh, it was just an, an adjunctive way um, for us to uh, have another reason to get together. We know that people who attend faith-based organizations can add 4 to 14 years to their lives. So we are pleased to see that after a bit of a slow start, the faith-based organizations are seeing how the project benefits their members. In 2017, we went from one to five approved faith-based organizations in the project. Two of the largest congregations in Naples Celebration Church and St. John the Evangelist earned approval, meaning they are doing great work to help their congregants live longer, healthier, happier lives. At a recent faith-based summit, we had 30 faith-based organizations attend and show interest in the project. We are building momentum. The church got involved with Blue Zones, partly oh, in part because of me. I went to the, one of the meetings at NCH and I saw how it could benefit the folks here at this church. Most of them are elderly, most of them are active in doing things, and the Power Nine principles fit so well into spirituality and faith life in general that it couldn't say no to doing that. And so we started doing it, got organized, started send, sending out the personal checklists, and as we get more and more involved in it, we see today really as a, be a new beginning for us to, to grow, go forward with the Blue Zones and incorporate it more and more into our lives. Hi, I'm Nolan Rollins, pastor of Legacy Church Astero. And we're so happy to be a part of the Blue Zones Project and to have become a Blue Zones Project approved church. What Blue Zones is trying to promote for all the people who live in Southwest Florida is exactly what the church should be promoting with people living longer, happier, healthier lives. We all understand the importance of helping our kids get off to a healthy start in life, so we are pleased to share 10 schools are currently Blue Zones Project approved and another dozen are working on this goal. We are working with Florida Southwestern University and Hodges to achieve approval as well. And over 3,000 students and faculty participated in National Walking Day. Hi, I'm Julianne Sanchez and I am the wellness champion at Point Sienna Elementary School. And I'm Jessica Davis, the principal of Point Sienna Elementary School. We are very excited to have become a part of the Blue Zone Schools here in Collier County. We have quite a few projects that we have on the books this year. We have once a year, this is our second annual, uh, staff personal development and we work on our mind body and soul during this um, in service so instead of sitting there listening to things about teaching strategies and different ways to help the kids we learn about ourselves and how can we better ourselves so that once we're strong and we're confident and we have this great positive energy we can rely that relay that onto our students so that they feel that positive. And it's just a great uh, rejuvenating, refreshing opportunity that Mrs. Davis has provided for our staff. We want to do our part to um, help our bigger community. And our area is working hard, the area that we live in is working hard to become a Blue Zone region. And we want to do our part to support that effort. So uh, becoming a Blue Zone school was important to us for the benefits of our students as well as our larger community that we live in. We do like the 5K race to help uh, kids 
get their get their um, body fit and stay active. You also do in in our class um, exercise balls. See, like while they're learning, they they're doing ex exercise. And we we also um, we got some water bottles that helps them drink more water than um, drinking less juices. The Blue Zone has helped to make sure that we're focusing on our students with their health. And a lot of times, if we bring in a lot of the different physical and health-related aspects into our classrooms and into the schools, then we see not only them being healthy as individuals, but it helps with their academics and growing up to be good citizens as well, both in school and out of school. 2017 has been a banner year for restaurant involvement, with another eight restaurants gaining approval. All of these restaurants and many more that are working toward this goal are making it possible to eat healthy while dining out. Well, when I heard about Blue Zone Project, it was here at Cosmos Restaurant. A doctor from NCH, he came here, he was talking about the Blue Zone Project in here in Southwest Florida. And it sounds to me very interesting. And uh, Dave from Blue Zone Project brought me this book. And so I thought I should be look after this project because I reflect myself on the book. And this is where my generation come from. And this is how we ate. This is how we run our life every single day. And I felt I was like something very easy to follow because remind me my old generation, where I come from, Sardinia. This is one of our day, this is one of the dishes with the beautiful uh, onions, caramelized onion, zucchini, roasted, yellow, uh, roasted red pepper and yellow green pepper with the zucchini and eggplant, burrata with the fresh green salad. The Karina, please, take this to the table 70. Here we are. Vegetable fregola, one of our favorite dish, one single tour, and all with the pasta with homemade tomato sauce and basil. Maria Antonietta, please, table nine. Wins Market, we first heard about the Blue Zones back in March of 2015. Um, being in downtown Naples, we're right next to Naples Community Hospital, and we've partnered with them before um, with other healthy initiatives. So it's just something we wanted to know more about. So we met with the Blue Zones team. They talked for over an hour um, about the different Blue Zones regions, uh, what the Blue Zones project was all about, um, but how they needed local businesses to be involved. And so things we implemented were like removing sugary drinks from the front end. We put bananas and fresh vegetables at the entrances. We increased our water um, facings by over 30% in the cold case. Um, and we even have a Blue Zone checkout now, which uh, takes all the candy bars and all that. And we replaced it with water, bananas, granola, stuff you don't usually see in a checkout lane, um, but it just gives that healthy al alternative uh, to our customers. At Melch, we talked a lot about uh, the Blue Zone project. It was introduced to me by Dave and Kate and we look and did a lot of reading and a lot of research. And what I liked about it, it's not a diet, it's lifestyles, it's changing your lifestyles. And it starts with doing small things like riding the bicycle to work. So if, if you live close to the restaurant, and we got a lot of people that live close to our restaurant, they drive their bike. So we put a rack, bike rack on the, on, the, on, the, on the front of our restaurant. Uh, at Mel's Diner, we added like four or five new items on the menu. I got two favors. The first one will be the grilled vegetable, which are fresh vegetable, grilled. And then we serve them with uh, black beans. It's our favorite. Uh, customers love that. It's the freshness of the vegetables, the way that we grill them and we saute them. And my other uh, favorite one is the quinoa bowl, which is the quinoa, mandarin, oranges, pecan, cucumber, and toasting our fresh lime vinaigrette. Despite our best efforts to balance work and play, many of us spend a large portion of our day at our work sites. Therefore, it is especially meaningful that eight more work sites have been approved thus far in 2017. Another 19 work sites are actively working toward approval. 
Arthrix is in the business of um, taking care of people. So one of our big things, and I'm going to show you a badge. We all wear a badge and it, our, our um, mission statement's on, and it's helping surgeons treat their patients better. So how that aligns with our employees is our goal is to make sure our employees are functioning well so that we can take care of all the things we need to do for the surgeons. Um, I explain it like this in orientation. If we don't have healthy employees, if I have employees that are, 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 are not um, vibrant at work or they're sick, they're going to make mistakes. Those mistakes are going to be in a suture or a knee replacement or in a piece of equipment that's going to go into a body. So it's kind of like it goes back to our mission statements, helping surgeons treat their patients better. We as employees, my employees at Arthrex, they need to also be at the healthiest level to help make our mission statement come true. And our goal for our employees is to help our employees and to treat them better in every way. So the Blue Zone initiative was just something that was a natural progression for our employees um, and for Arthrex to um, embark on um, based on what we do. We're in the medical field. We take care of people. Um, that's what the Blue Zone is. It's taking care of people. Well, I think it was a natural for our club. Uh, we're all about quality of life for our employees, and we're fortunate to have a general manager who is very much in favor of good health for our staff. The Blue Zones Project has nine power principles, one of those being a plant slant diet. The Food for Life program is really a, a simple program that you can bring in to your club or to your organization to teach people simple principles of eating more healthily. It's about adding choices, about bringing fresh fruits and vegetables and whole foods into your daily diet and teaching people that they can eat healthier, that can hopefully stave off heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and other major killers. I hope each and every one of you really feels proud for the work that you're doing. Without you, we wouldn't be able to make this happen. But we are. Together we're making the healthy choice the easier choice for generations to come. So thank you for your enthusiasm and for making it happen.